Over the next few minutes, we will show you what the different options are to install Sage 50 in a network environment, and we will walk you through the steps of performing an advanced server installation. Sage 50 can be used on only one workstation or in the network environment. You may be interested in using Sage 50 on a network if several users and or several workstations will be accessing the Sage 50 company data. The Sage 50 company data will be stored in a network location. Three types of network configurations are currently supported. Peer-to-peer -peer installation, client-server installation, terminal server installation. In the next few minutes, we will discuss each of these options. Peer-to-peer -peer networks are commonly used by small to medium businesses that do not have access to a dedicated server. In a peer-to-peer -peer environment, several workstations are connected to the same network and share access to certain files which reside on one of the workstations in a shared location. In a peer-to-peer -peer environment, the Sage 50 program must be installed on every workstation. A typical or an advanced custom installation can be performed on every machine where you will be using Sage 50. The Sage 50 company data will be stored in a shared location on one of the workstations. The other workstations should map a drive to the shared location to gain access to the data. The second type of network configuration supported by Sage 50 is client-server environment. Client-server networks are commonly used by small to medium businesses that have access to a dedicated server. In a client-server environment, workstations and a dedicated server are connected to the same network. Certain files are stored on a server in a shared location. The server is not used as a workstation. In a client-server environment, the Sage 50 program must be installed on every workstation. A typical or an advanced custom installation can be performed on every machine where you will be using Sage 50. Because only some components of the program are required on the server, an advanced server-only installation can be performed there. The Sage 50 company data will be stored in a shared location on the server. The other workstations should map a drive to the shared location to gain access to the data. The third and last type of network configuration supported for Sage 50 is a terminal server configuration. In this type of environment, the programs do not need to be installed on the workstation as they will run directly from the server. Workstations will initiate remote sessions and the server will run multiple desktops for each client's request. It is important to note that this type of environment is supported with Sage 50 Quantum Edition only. In a terminal server environment, the Sage 50 program must be installed on the server. The data will also be stored on the server. It is not necessary to install Sage 50 on the workstations. However, you will need to install a terminal services client software on the workstations. In this example, each workstation, A, B and C, can initiate a remote session and the server will run three desktops, one for each workstation. Sage 50 should be installed on the server, where the data will also be stored. We have explained the three network configurations supported by Sage 50. Let's now discuss how to perform an advanced server-only installation. In a client-server environment, an advanced server-only installation should be performed on the server where the Sage 50 data will be stored. Please note that the steps must be performed from the server and not from one of the workstations. Like with a typical installation, the installation can be launched by inserting your Sage 50 accounting installation CD into your CD or DVD drive, or by double-clicking the installation file that you have downloaded. If you have the Sage 50 accounting installation CD, please insert it into your CD or DVD drive. If you have downloaded Sage 50, please double-click the installer file. Depending on your computer settings, 
you may receive a message similar to this one asking if you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer. Click Yes to continue. The Sage 50 installation wizard will save the installation files on your computer. Click Browse if you would like to select a different location or Next to confirm the location. If you ever need to install Sage 50 on the same computer in the future, you will not need to download the installer or to find your CD. Simply browse to this location and run the installation from there. The files have now been saved and the installation can start. Click Install Sage 50 to proceed with the installation. Select English or French and click OK to proceed. If you receive this message indicating that an update has been detected on your computer, you can click No to momentarily cancel the installation, install pending updates, restart your computer, and start installing Sage 50 again. If you would like to continue installing Sage 50, click Yes. If the Windows firewall is enabled on this computer, you may be prompted to configure it automatically. Select Yes to configure it automatically, or No to configure it manually later, and click Next. When prompted to select a type of installation, select Advanced to continue with an advanced server on the installation, then click Next. Select Server only, and click Next. Click Next to confirm the server on the installation type. Review the end user license agreement carefully and select I agree to accept the terms. Then click Next to proceed with the installation. The installation will take several minutes to complete. At the end of the process, you will see a confirmation window. Congratulations, you are now able to describe the three network configurations supported by Sage50 Accounting and to complete a server on the installation.